Oh, hello there. Welcome to my hypnosis center. Today, you will, in a short space of time, be slowly hypnotized into a state of calm and pure relaxation, helping you drift into a deep sleep. I don't need anything from you. I just need you to believe in the power of the polar. What am I, you ask? You don't need to know. All you need to know is that in my mysterious power lies the answer to relaxation. When you are ready, I need you to take a deep breath in, hold for a moment, and then breathe out. I need you to do this for me a few times until you become more centered and aware of your breathing. Let's take a moment to do that now. So breathe in for me. Hold and breathe out. And again for me, please. Hold and exhale. Let's try that again. Nice and deep. Hold and Once you find that part of you that feels discomfort, I want you to visualize it as a balloon. In order to completely relax, you need to burst this balloon that is filled with tension. You have the ability to control how your mind and body feels, and you will do so. So simply visualize yourself in that miniature version popping this balloon. There is no loud sound, just a simple release of tension. Picture yourself as you burst the area of discomfort. And as you take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, that area becomes more comfortable. Feeling the comfort in your body is vital in order to fully relax. Feeling the comfort in your body is vital in order to fully relax and commit to a wonderful night's sleep. Take a moment for me now and continue on your virtual journey throughout the body, weaving your way from head to toe or whatever path you prefer. As you do so, 
really take note of any issues and bits that you would like to burst like a balloon and release that tension. You are in complete control. You are in complete control. You are in complete control. As you work your way through your body, releasing those areas of tension, you feel your muscles going weaker, sinking deeper and deeper. It's not about anything else right now apart from you and how you feel and about how good you will feel after a good night's sleep. And as you visualize yourself bursting that last bit of tension, I want you to hop back for me to reality and now picture yourself in your bed. I want you to picture yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the mattress. Feel what's around you. Embrace your surroundings. This is about you. This is about sleep. Sleeping is something that is so simple and can have such an impact on our lives. Feel what's around you. Embrace your surroundings. 
This is about you. This is about sleep. Sleeping is something that is so simple and can have such an impact on our lives. not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on. But we're all too busy trying to stay alive and live our lives. And after all, what can one person do about it? One person can do nothing, but a nation educated can do much. Why does Hollywood make motion pictures like Death Wish and Dirty Harry, always showing how regular citizens are misused and abused and tricked and deceived by their government, and then one lone guy has to stand up for what's right because the whole system is corrupt? Why do you think they make movies like that? Is there a message in that? I'll tell you why. It's very simple. First of all, these conspirators, these people, make the movies showing you what the problem is. Then they make the movies to show you what the solution is. They know that you are frustrated. They know that the people of America are frustrated because there is no law and order. But that's purposely designed. We're not supposed to have law and order yet. We're supposed to have crime and the immorality and the drugs and the murder and all the other things that we are besieged by. We're supposed to have that. If the government did not want it, it would not be here. Believe me, this is the most powerful government the world has ever known. They have a they had the ability to get a hold on Adolf Hitler 50 years ago. He had a standing army, the greatest navy, air force, military, secret underworld organizations operating throughout the world. But this government got a hold on Adolf Hitler because it chose to and it wanted to. And if you do not pay your income taxes, they will find you if you go to the Amazon jungle and they will make an example of you, they will find you and they will deal with you and you know it. 
but for some reason they're unable to get a handle on drugs and the crime in the streets for some reason. There is a reason, and that's what we want to talk about. There is a method to the madness.